We're looking at A2 Pure Maths and we're in the middle of our trig unit. Uh, chapter 2 and we're doing a compound angle formula in examples 3, 4 and 5 here hopefully. Uh, so it says given that the angles A and B are acute and sine A is 4 over 5, cos B is 7 over 25, find without the use of a calculator the value of cos A plus B and tan A minus B. So this here, if we can set it up as follows. Here's our A. And if sine A is 4 over 5, that means the opposite and the hypotenuse is 4 and 5 respectively, making this a 3. So that means that cos A is 3 over 5. Sine A is 4 over 5. And tan A is 4 over 3. That's going to be helpful working these out in parts A and part B. For the other one, it's going to be similar. This is angle B and cos B, so that's 7 and that's 25. And of course, that's another Pythagorean triple. So that's going to be 24 there. That means cos B, we were of course given, which is 7 over 25. Sine B is 24 over 25. And tan B is 24 or 7. So what do they want us to work out? Cos A plus B is our first one. So cos A plus B our formula of course is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B and fill in our blanks, cos A is 3 fifths multiplied by 7 over 25. Take away 4 fifths multiplied by 24 over 25. Um, 21 over 125. Take away 96. 125 gives us minus 75 over 125 which cancelled down nicely into minus three fifths uh, for part B um, it is tan A minus B um, so formula for that is tan A take away tan B all over 1 plus tan A tan B and fill in the blanks in for this 4 over 3 uh, just looking from above take away 24 over 7 all over 1 plus 4 over 3 multiplied by 24 over 7 uh, a bit messier here, but we should be okay. Uh, I put that over a common denominator, so 28 over 21, take away 72 over 21, all over 1 plus 96 over 21. Um, nearly there, so I'm going to leave it. Um, top line then is minus 44 over 21, bottom line is 117 over 21, and um, that gives us then minus 44 over 117.